hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am back with another shea moisture review last video i said that i was gonna break up the reviews because i thought they were getting redundant but you guys were like girl no give us give us the review give us the reviews so i was like all right i'll go ahead and finish out these reviews so i can film the other videos i've been wanting to like that haul that y'all won't let me be great in film but no i'm filming that asap y'all gonna get this haul y'all gonna get this haul okay okay but today what you're gonna get is a review and today i will be reviewing and demoing the new shea moisture hydrates and repair line and it's the manuka honey and yogurt and there is oh let me get all of them oh please and there is four different items eh, eh. Anyways, alrighty, so the first item is the Hydrate and Repair Shampoo, the Hydrate and Repair Conditioner, the Hydrate and Repair, how many times do I say Hydrate and Repair? Multi-Action Leave-In, and then the Protein Power Treatment, and all of these are from the Manuka Honey and Yogurt line, and there is one more item that is missing, and it's the Split Ends Repair. I told you guys I didn't get my hands on that, and I wasn't really going out of my way to get my hands on it, because it's just not something that I could readily, like, see and be able to review for you guys instantly, and I just... I just had no interest in that product, you know? So, yeah, those are the four items. So let's just go ahead and jump into the demo portion and we'll come back for the review. And it's like an ocean And the waves, they crash and fall And I feel the motion Cause we're big and then we're small And sometimes we lose it Hey guys, so real quick, I'm noticing like right off the bat, this is way thicker than any Shea Moisture mask I've ever used. The consistency is like, I don't even know, it's more buttery. Can you guys just look? It's not even like, like, oh, oh, ha, what? How did I do that? How did I do that? So weird. <laughs> oh Lord, she thick. Shout it thick. No worries, I came prepared. All in case, in case you need saving, got a whole heart is yours. You guys, this mask is like super, like that spray bottle was cute and all, but I gotta like dump water on my hair right now. In the burning summertime, you're like fire. The midnight winter sky, you're all on nursing. And I got it. Okay, so that like dollop that I put on there, that's literally it for this side. Like, that's it. I can't I can't put anymore. Can you give me that Can you give me those Tell me your tell you I find a makeup to everything is alright. Give me that, give me that, give me that Pretty face, pretty face, pretty baby You're the only one that's driving me crazy first the shampoo the shampoo and conditioner the shampoo I liked it I didn't love it I didn't like it was nice it was hydrate I just it was good but it wasn't great it was good but I just don't it wasn't all that like I wasn't I'm I'm gonna return it basically like it didn't do anything dramatic for my hair it wasn't super hydrating and even the smell kind of just smells like a 
soapy shampoo with a little bit of perfumey after after smell i was about to say aftertaste i didn't taste it so i don't know but um it says it's supposed to cleanse and restore extremely dry brittle hair and i do feel like this isn't as drying as traditional shampoos i just didn't feel any type of restoration immediately after now this could very well be something that you know this is only noticeable after a few washes but i'm pretty sure this one said okay no it doesn't say after first wash um i thought it said that it like had a 76 percent reduction of breakage or it hydrates and repairs or what does it say repairs reduce repairs by reducing breakage on heat styled hair up to 76 percent when used with the conditioner so this could be something that's long term now i didn't go and get all the deets on you know how long term it's supposed to be because this is the first impressions but it just wasn't it was it was okay it wasn't great she's going back to her home at the store um conditioner it had pretty good slip i give it like a seven out of ten again the conditioner wasn't like anything super amazing um it reminds me kind of of the the other the protein one in the green container and like the light green container i'll link that video below so you know what i'm talking about i did a review on that it kind of reminds me of that one but it's just i it was just okay like it I, nothing is really striking me like i like them but not enough to pay ten dollars for each bottle like this is not for me personally this is not twenty twenty dollars well spent that's just my opinion okay okay so i study but no so yeah anyways moving right along to the uh leave-in now this leave-in i really did like and i don't know if you guys remember but in the haul video i said i had an inclination that it was going to be similar to the coconut um 100 virgin coconut leave-in and it definitely reminded me of that um i sprayed this in my hair and it was okay but it wasn't anything like the coconut one i liked it because it was extremely hydrating i ended up keeping it because it replaced uh the leave-in that i had ran out of but it wasn't something that i was going back to the store repurchasing same with this one i don't think it's money wasted i think that you will like it but again like it's just it's great but i i like thicker leave-ins anyway but this one's it's good and because it says it hydrates and repairs so this has a little bit of the um i'm assuming this has protein in it as well or darn no so because the other one i think was just like a hydration line this one says hydrate and repair i would definitely choose this one over the coconut one but i still haven't even used all the coconut ones so this one is going back but i like her and she was cute but she wasn't like cute cute she was just cute so i hope this probably girl what does that mean so the answer is no i wouldn't repurchase it and yeah that's just it was just it was okay for me it wasn't like it wasn't amazing it was kind of lackluster this right here now you guys know i'm a mask person i love deep conditioners that is my favorite thing to try i just I just love them they, they just I feel like they do the most for my hair and I get the most out of them so this deep conditioner how do I want to put this if I had not tried the damn coconut and hibiscus mask this would have been my a1 like this would have been all, almost holy girl stuff like it would have it would have almost been holy girl status but not completely like it would have been close to it like eight out of ten holy girl status but that that curl enhances i can't even go there because that's not what it's about but that other mask coconut hibiscus girl but this right here i give it an eight out of ten like i said if i hadn't tried that mask i would have definitely told you guys to go get this one matter of fact i still am because this is a really good mask let me stop I really did like this mask I definitely felt like my hair was hydrated I did feel like it was I don't want to say stronger but maybe a little bit more resilient like it didn't feel as sometimes if your hair is over hydrated it can kind of feel like a bit mushy I felt like this was a perfect balance of like protein and hydration so I really like this mask um it's super thick like 
crazy thick like you guys had to I know you saw that clip like I had to dilute this with water so a little bit goes a long way I think this is well worth the money if you're going to pick up anything from this line I definitely say the mask so she is staying here with me she's found a new home welcome my new family member um but it says the only thing that throws me off is it says extremely dry and brittle hair if you were dealing with extremely damaged hair i don't think that this would be the one for you i think you would have to go towards you know a more aggressive treatment and you guys know i have some elasticity and protein treatments that i love swear by they're a little expensive but they work but this right here if your hair is like extremely damaged i can't confidently say it'll work but if you have some like mild to more moderate like damage and you're trying to repair your hair i definitely think that you should give this mask a try i think you'll love it um like i said slip is really not there until you warm this bad boy up definitely get it warmed up in your hands smooth it through definitely add lots of water um but like i said a little bit goes a long way um i still like the curling hands and smoothie mask better but you know these have two different purposes the curling why well, i keep saying curl enhancing smoothie the coconut and hibiscus mask um but so we're not here to talk about that one that was the other video giving this one its shine so i definitely like this one if you've tried this let me know what you think if you try the whole line let me know what you think like i said um quick rundown shampoo and conditioners i give them mm, a seven out of ten they were good not great but i'm personally not comfortable with spending twenty dollars on this duo personally but if you are comfortable spending that much on shampoo and conditioners i think that you'll like them i just don't think that they were amazing for my hair i'd much rather go with the trader joe's nourish spa those that that shampoo and conditioner those that's just kind of what it reminds me of but they're only three bucks so if you don't have a trader joe's it's not really helpful for you but i'm sorry um this right here same thing i've had leave-ins that are better um i've also had leave-ins that are worse so this one isn't bad it's just not super amazing um so yeah and this one y'all already know what's up she found a new home she's got a friend in me you've got a friend in me she me all of us so yeah, um, anyways, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. We still have two more products that need to be reviewed. So I'm going to be getting this out for you as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, that's all I had to say. That's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>